In this video, I would like to demonstrate the uh, Open Rules Decision uh, Model Explorer, how it uh, automatically generates decision model diagrams and how it keeps uh, these diagrams live whenever we change the underlying uh, uh, decision uh, tables and the different uh, decision constructs. It, they will be immediately reflected on the diagram. So on my right, I have a decision, famous decision model uh, vacation days. And this is a, a top level uh, table that calculates decision uh, vacation days based on uh, uh, basic 22 days and uh, uh, eligibility of this particular employee to uh, extra five days, extra three days and extra two days. And uh, this rule is defined here. This is uh, rules for uh, five days, three days, and uh, other days. So let's open the diagram. So when I opening this, uh, I would go to my uh, repository and I would open uh, open rules samples, open rules samples, and inside open rules samples, I want to find my vacation days. So when I open, it immediately builds the diagram. And you can see the uh, diagram is really represents uh, this uh, uh, relationship between all these uh, decision tables and different go goal, major goal is vacation day and three sub goals. And let's say I want to ch make changes in uh, uh, my Excel and let's say let's hide this uh, uh, eligibility for three days. So when I go here to three days and uh, this is decision table and let's say I will comment it out. So I just put something in front of the keyword decision table. And when I save, let's look on the diagram without any changes. It immediately disappeared. And this sub goal eligible for extra three days became just input uh, uh, attribute. So it assumes that now uh, a user should enter this data. But if I return this back, click and save, you can see, yes, it immediately came back. So similarly, we can make uh, any other changes, but let's try to look on more uh, complex uh, decision model. And this one of the most complex model was flight rebooking. Flight rebooking uh, looks like this. And in this case, uh, it uh, determines, uh, it goes through execution of multiple tables. It's uh, using sort facilities. Let's open the proper Excel file. Here is Excel file. Every time when you click on the node, it opens file and shows exactly exact location in Excel of the proper node. So, and let's say I want to hide this rebook all uh, passengers. So if I click on rebook all passengers, it shows me this, oh, this is this table. Okay, so let me comment out this table and what will happen when I click this. Yeah, it tells me that because it knows that uh, I should implement this using re rebook all passengers and now it's missing. So the diagram immediately reflects this. And if I go, for example, to uh, this table, and if I hide this table, probably the similar thing will happen right away. Yes, so this is a missing uh, uh, defined table. So let's uh, restore them. And uh, this table is coming back. And uh, how about this table? Rebook all flights. If I click here. Uh, yes. And... So it immediately came back. As you can see, uh, of course, I can show you all input variables and how they would be changed or just concepts. Uh, but uh, the point is that uh, our diagrams always regenerated and reflect the latest state of uh, uh, underlying decision tables, uh, glossary and all other constructs. Uh, in the future, we're going to demonstrate you how to build decision model from start to the end. And every time the diagram will uh, represent uh, the current state of our decision model development. Thank you.